with that fresh tea. What is going on guys? We're coming at you today. Hopefully the volume's okay. We got the mic, but that's okay. It's okay time, because we're gonna show you how to get your okay freaking lap pull down to an excellent lap pull down. Although I may be out of it right now, it's really gonna help you out. Here's some tips. So first off, I'm just gonna show you how to do a cross couple of reps. So you're gonna wanna come in, kinda have this nice and set look. You can get a full stretch. I'm gonna head back and I'm gonna drive my last down like that. Imagine I'm squeezing the tennis ball here. Getting full extension, letting it pull me up just a little, re engaging, pulling, but I don't want to lose that tension. And that's how you do a proper lap pull down. Kyle's gonna show you some mistakes and I'm gonna show you a whole ton of variations for some serious mass. The reason Josh is out of it is we've had too much caffeine today. Sure. <laughs> So one thing I see very often is a lot of people just kind of go through the motion like they're lollygagging without actually feeling the contraction in their lats. Um, so number one tip I have for you guys is to almost feel like you're driving your elbows down into your butt. Or another thing is you could imagine that you're squeezing a tennis ball in between your scapula. So this is how it's going to look like. You're going to make sure you're doing full range of motion. Squeeze. Up. Squeeze. All right, although I am kind of overreacting here, this is something I see far too often in the gym. Too many people are performing half reps throughout their set thinking it's gonna benefit them, which brings us to the third point. Too many people lean too forward and what this is doing is reducing the range of motion. Um, and you'll notice when Josh starts to do it properly, he's getting a full range of motion in and this is the best way to really activate those lats and get the most out of this exercise. Five lat pull down variations. Number one, we're kicking it off with none other than the neutral grip lat pull down. Now, speaking for myself, I can honestly say in the past I have been bored of performing just the same lat pull down variation day in and day out, which is why Josh and myself always make sure that we're doing different variations within each workout. Um, and I think that's awesome not only for the uh, sake of just switching things up, but also to target the lats in different ways. And now if I were to choose just one lat pull down variation, I'd have to go with this mainly because you can lift the most amount of weight for this exercise because you are pulling from a neutral grip. So I'll start with this and I'll work my way into isolation type exercises. Next up, we have the close grip reverse lat pull down. You're gonna wanna start off with a shoulder width underhand grip for this exercise. You notice that Josh is keeping his chest up and his lower back arced as he's pulling the bar down to his chest. Like we were talking about before, you'll notice that he's getting a full range of motion, getting a nice squeeze. Um, and also one thing to keep in mind guys is you can use as an alternative the V bar for this close grip exercise. Another thing I often see is a lot of people will actually try to bring the bar like crazy low, like almost down to their belly button or something like that. What they're doing there is they're going to be taking the activation off of the lat. So this is something you should really avoid doing and just pull it down to where you really feel the squeeze properly. Number three, we have the one arm lat pull down. I highly suggest you guys adding this into your routine. Um, for those of you who actually like just isolating one arm at a time, it is simply an amazing exercise and you guys can feel the, um, you know, the contraction in your lat like never before because you're just focusing on one at a time um, so it really helps avoid muscle imbalances and uh, you guys will hear me say this a million times and I'm sorry if it's getting repetitive but you'll notice we are doing a full range of motion we are keeping it nice and controlled I'm not using 250 pounds on this I'm probably using like 70 pounds and I'm just getting a nice squeeze in my lats and really putting me in a good position to work my lats properly and to help myself gain the most amount of muscle from this exercise. Mind muscle connection, baby. This one is key. Okay, this is kind of a funky exercise, something you may not see too often. This is exercise number four. Mind-muscle connection, like I said, is absolutely crucial, especially for this exercise. You're gonna wanna make sure that the arm at the very top of the movement is remaining straight throughout the entire time, really squeezing those lats. Last but not least, we have the wide grip reverse lat pull down. You may experience a little bit of wrist pain, and if you do, I highly recommend putting your hands closer on the bar or just completely avoiding this exercise. But it's awesome because it really stimulates the lower lat muscle fibers, which will give you the appearance of the thick and full lat. Sorry I'm talking so fast, the time is running out, but I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do, share it with a friend, and we will see you in the next video. Peace out.